But believe it or not, the World War II Memorial in the nation's capital is only 15 years old. Yeah, and sadly, the overwhelming majority of the greatest generation, now mostly in their 90s, will die without ever seeing it. But thanks to Honor Flight, a local man was able to see his memorial, and I was lucky enough to go along. It was important for 94-year-old Dickie Thompson to travel to the nation's capital to see the World War II Memorial, his memorial. What does this bring up for you? What kind of feelings and emotions? That, that all of our efforts were not in vain. Drafted in 1943 at the age of 18, Dickey left Hamilton and joined the Navy. He was eventually sent to the Pacific and served as a petty officer on the USS Piedmont. 1,500 men, I was on, it was integrated in the Navy and I was on the black swimming on the ship. Can you imagine working there with 50, 1,500 men? One of Dickey's jobs was to help repair ships that had been attacked by the Japanese and he witnessed some horrific things. There in the wreckage, there was a guy's, his leg was snapped off right here. And nothing but the leg and the thigh. And, and shoes were on, his socks were on. And you, we run up and we looked at it and there was about five of us. I think we all threw up right there. We grew up right there. Dickey's ship was just off the coast of Japan when the bomb was dropped. And a few days later, he saw the devastation. Just like a city that was burned down from here to Dayton, nothing left but safes and chimneys. After the war, Dickey returned to Hamilton and worked for almost four decades at Champion Paper. Married for 63 years, four children, seven grandchildren, four great-grandchildren, and lots of friends. Dickey tells me it's been a really good life and taking an honor flight trip to Washington with his son Lenny is just the icing on the cake. I want to thank you very much for your service to this country, sir. I appreciate it greatly. Come to Washington and see World War II Memorial. It's very worth your while and you'll never forget it, regret it. The greatest generation indeed. And if you would like to donate or learn more about Honor Flight or even volunteer as a guardian to accompany a vet to D.C., we do have a link for you. It's at local12.com. And I can't say enough good things about Dickie uh, and Lenny. They were so wonderful, and I think I've made a friend for life. I mean, just the sweetest, most kind man, and I just love him. And going on that Honor Flight, I'm not kidding you, Kyle, it was just life-changing for me. I can feel it the way that you talk about the stories yeah. and the passion that you have when you're telling these stories. Right. You can tell it really impacted you. Well, it, it, it's so amazing that you're going down the terminal towards your gate and everyone in the airport stops what they're doing, mm -hmm. comes out, and cheers and gives high fives and hugs to these guys and oh. says thank you for your service. I mean, it just it'll give you chills to watch it, and it means so much to these veterans. So you can see that in all of those super stories. special. And you're going to see him again soon, right? Oh, absolutely. I told you we're going to be friends forever. <laughs> <laughs>